Hello and welcome to showmeacademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to convert text into columns in Microsoft Excel 2007. And what we're talking about is that when you're copying and pasting from other programs into Excel, you'll often find that the default is that all the data that you copy and paste into Excel will end up in one big column. But the data that you copied might have initially been placed in multiple columns, and you might want to put them back into multiple columns in Excel without having to manually edit each individual cell's worth of data. Rather than try to explain that further, let me just show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to pull up this simple document that I have, and this document is really nothing more than a list of artists and songs. And I'm going to take this data, and first I'm going to select all of it, use Control A, and when I hit Control A, that selects all the text, and I'm going to copy it to my clipboard. And then I'm going to go back to Excel here. And from here, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to paste this into Excel. Now when I do this, Notice what we have here. I have all the data that I just had from that previous document here in Excel. However, even though these, these have bled over a little bit, let me expand this, and you'll see that they're all part of one big column. But what if I wanted to have the artist in one column and the song or the, the song title in another column? Well, of course, I could go through and manually try to grab this information and then copy it back over to there, but that's very slow and painful and inefficient. That's certainly not a best practice as to how we want to do that. There's actually a much more efficient way to do that with Excel's text to columns feature. So we'll show you how to do that here. Let me go back to this. And I want to basically parse through each one of these rows and tell it where to split it up and put it into another column. So I'm going to select this column again. So we, we have all these values selected. And from here, I'm going to go click on the Data tab, which is right up here. And when I click on the Data tab, you'll notice that if, uh, if you look under the Data Tools section, there's a Text to Columns button. And if you leave it moused over, it even gives you a, an exam, or excuse me, a narrative that explains what it will try to do. So we're going to click on that button, Text to Columns. And this brings up my Convert Text to Columns wizard, step one of three. And by default, it's going to try to uh, convert this text into columns by looking for a delimiter. Notice here, delimited is the default option. Delimiter just means you're going to pick some character or some group of characters that you're going to treat as the delimiter to be used between each different column. So I'm going to leave it there, select it on delimited, and click the Next button. When I do that here, you'll notice that it gives me an option, well, a number of different options for what to use as delimiters. And then below that, it'll show me the data preview. So by default, tab is, is usually selected. And you can see that if I were to use tabs as the delimiter, this is what my data would look like. In other words, there wouldn't be any difference in the data at all. And that makes sense because the data that I copied and pasted into Excel had no tabs in it. So if we're going to use a tab as a delimiter, it would never find any delimiters, and it would just end up sticking everything in one big column, which is what it did initially anyway. So I'm going to uncheck this tab option. And instead, I'm going to click on Other, and I'm going to use the dash, because if you look at my data, you'll see that I've used the dash to separate every artist from the song. Artist, song artist, song, artist, song. So that dash now becomes a delimiter that I can use. So I've clicked on other up here, and then in other you can denote any character that you want. So I'm going to put a dash there. And notice as soon as I do that, my data preview down here changes quite radically. If I take that off, again, now I have everything sitting in one column. But when I put that dash in there, it will now use that dash to split up the text into separate columns. And you can see now it shows me that this is everything that will be in the first column, this is everything that will be in the second column. So clearly, using that dash has allowed me to split this text into columns so that my first column is the artist and the second column is the song or the, the, the title of the song. 
you don't have to use the dash. Of course, you can use any, any character that you want. Or you could even do something different. Let's uncheck other and let's do space. You can see that then it would treat every space in the text fields as a reason to split it across different columns. Of course, it doesn't really look like what we wanted this time because that doesn't fit the format of the data that we've pasted in. But that is an option. Of course, you also have the option to use, say, a comma. Com uh, files that have comma-separated values are commonly used to import or export data into or out of Excel. But again, we're going to use the option here for the dash. And once I do that, I'm just going to click Finish. And once I click Finish, I'm going to expand this first column a little bit. I'll expand the second one as well. You can see very clearly that I've now quite efficiently moved all my text into separate columns. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you for using ShowMeAcademy.com.